Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden. Golden. Golden, golden things. Hi there, my name's Lucy and this is my partner Lahiru. I have been living in the south of Sri Lanka for over a year now and wow, what an adventure it's been so far. Click the subscribe button and come along on this journey with us as we explore more of this beautiful country and start a new chapter in our lives. Last week we welcomed my parents to Sri Lanka and got to spend a wonderful two weeks with them. It wasn't long enough of course but we got to spend some relaxation time together and even did a little bit of work on the house. But this week we take a step back to appreciate this beautiful world we are living in and take a moment to reflect on life. Right, so I wanted to sit down and have a chat with you guys about some things that have been bundled up in my head and I just wanted to speak about them, get them out there, get some conversation going, you know. How do you see the world? Tell me what you think in the comments below. There has been a lot of devastation in the world recently, what with the coronavirus pandemic, but we are also seeing some changes due to climate change. In recent history, there has been devastation like the Australian bushfires in 2019 to 2020, California's wildfires in 2020, flooding from extreme heavy rain throughout the world, storms, volcano eruptions, and much more. And it's thought that many of these natural disasters could actually be linked to global warming. And on top of all that, something that's affecting all of us is the coronavirus pandemic. It's really hard to stay mentally positive when all you see in the news is what's going on or has been going on. Ugh, it's just crazy. But there could be some good that comes out of this pandemic. I know that's hard to think about because it's caused so much loss heartache and disturbance but is it a sign is it mother nature reaching out and telling us people please stop please think about what you're doing to the planet that you're all living in could this be a lesson to all of us and something we should all learn from do you see the world where it's your world it's your life it's your comfortable bubble and you'd rather not know what's going on in the news or what's happening around the world because it's just easier for you to not know. Or do you see a world where there's a future for many, many more generations to come? A world for everybody, for both humans and for animals. A world that is focused on sustainability and not just materialism. A world where every single person is part of a community and everyone is doing their bit to preserve the world that we live in and the environment and the animals that we share it with. That is the world that I'm dreaming to see. So I think the lifestyle that I lead is far from perfect. There are so many things I want to change to make myself a better person and making a more positive impact in the world today. I want to live as sustainable and off-grid as possible and I feel like my journey has finally started so I'm gonna get there. It is definitely in reach now but we still have a long way to go. Our form of transport is a bike, a motorbike, and it's definitely not sustainable. I'm not sure how efficient it actually is because obviously we're having to strip resources from the earth in order to get from A to B. And occasionally the odd plastic bag pops into my life, which is really frustrating and I feel really, really guilty about it, but I am not perfect and I make mistakes, but I'm really trying. <laughs> I feel really guilty when I have no option but to have a plastic bag from a shop when I've stupidly forgotten my reusable bag as I'm like an advocate for low waste lifestyle and for not using any plastic so I'm not just letting myself down but I'm also letting you guys down as well because 
I'm not practicing what I preach sometimes, like it's not all the time, but very, very rarely. But it's okay because we all make mistakes and we're all on a journey. Even though I still have a long way to go until I can be the person who I want to be, making a positive impact in this planet, here are a few things that could help you lead a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So the first thing is to eat a more plant-based lifestyle. Go vegan. This video is not about veganism, but I highly recommend you go watch some documentaries to find out more. The meat industry is one of the biggest contributors to climate change, polluting our land and our waterways, and obviously harming and killing many, many billions of animals every single year. Help others where you can, so you could go feed some street dogs, or you can go help out at an animal sanctuary or donate, or you could also gift books, pencils, pens, colouring equipment to schools and orphanages. Shop secondhand as much as possible, so you're not contributing to new materials being stripped from the earth, and you're also not contributing to unethical working conditions. Secondhand shopping is one of my favourite things to do, and it's so fun when you can find some really good quality items that are pre-loved and in really good condition for a really good price. If you are going to buy brand new items and materials, make sure you do some research first and see if you can find some ethical, sustainable companies that you can buy from. This isn't for everyone though, as usually it's a little bit more expensive, but I really hope that in the near future, that kind of market will be on a level where everyone can have access to it. Plant trees. If you have a garden, just get out there and start planting. Trees are essential for the planet's well-being, and the rate that trees are getting cut down is really, really scary for the Earth's future. If everyone was to plant one tree, that would be absolutely incredible. Some of you may be thinking, well, Lucy, you did cut down loads and loads of your own trees to build your garden wall, and yes, that is absolutely correct, but we do have huge plans in future to plant a load more trees and create a sustainable garden where we can live off grid and live from our own land so that we don't have to get vegetables and fruits and other things that have been grown with chemicals or that come wrapped in plastic. So yeah, we did cut down some trees, but we're gonna be planting a whole load more. Reuse and recycle. Before you throw something away, have a think and do some research and get inspiration of what you can do with that item before you throw it away. It's really important to prolong the life of everything, basically, because otherwise it's just gonna to go to landfill or end up in our oceans. So if you've got an empty plastic bottle that you're just about to chuck in the bin, or chuck out the window of your car, have a think about what you can do with that plastic bottle. Maybe you can make a little planter with it for a tree or some seeds, or what else can you do with a plastic bottle? There's so much you can do with a plastic bottle. Support local and small businesses. This is so important in today's world because what with the pandemic, so many small businesses have had to close down temporarily or even permanently. So it's really important that we support those who really need us the most and not the big corporate companies that are already financially stable. Save energy. Reduce your carbon emissions by switching off your lights or electrical equipment that you're not using. Try out creating your own DIY cleaning products. You can do that by mixing water, vinegar, lemon, or bicarbonate of soda, and that creates a real natural deep cleaning cleaner instead of using products from the shop that come in the plastic bottles and are filled with really harsh chemicals. Adopt Don't Shop. If you are looking to welcome a furry friend into your home, please consider adopting from your local animal shelter or sanctuary because those animals are really in need of a home instead of supporting breeding farms and buying a pedigree dog. I'm actually going to create a separate video about this topic, so I'll get more into it then. Let me know if you found this conversation to be interesting. I'm really excited to know your thoughts about it and excited to read your comments. Yeah, let me know if it sparked a new interest or if you already knew about certain problems already that we're facing. I'd just be really interested to know your opinion and get some conversation flowing. Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring Rainbow trout and hummingbird
gold hair, gold rings, gold leaves, gold anything, gold. I'll follow only gold. I just wanted to share this moment with you guys because I really want to show you um, how the disabled dogs are that I work with and they've recently just been donated some new wheelchairs and we've just had them out in this grass and they are so so happy and I wanted to share these videos with you because I want to show you what it's like for the disabled dogs. A lot of people have some misconceptions and they think that being a disabled dog is really sad life, but that's definitely not the case with our disabled dogs. They are so, so happy. And when they get outside in their wheelchairs, they just run and play and they're just like normal dogs. We've been keeping ourselves occupied since the departure of mum and dad. We've been super busy at the sanctuary with all our lovely doggies. We've been trying to work out how to sort out the bills for our house, which is proving to be a little bit more complicated. Finalising the plans for our boundary wall to try and finish what has been started is also not going as smoothly as we thought. And we also got invited to a wonderful taster night at one of our favourite, favourite restaurants. We are really, really excited because this evening we have been invited to one of our favourite restaurants here in Sri Lanka. It's called Rise Italian Restaurant in Welligama and we've been invited to their taster night. They have the best vegan cheese, by the way, and we're really, really excited that they're reopening again. Are you ready, Maggie Adre? Let's go a lovely vegan tasty food. Miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing, golden. I'll follow the golden, golden, golden things, gold hair, gold ring. So today I have brought Vincha out of the sanctuary, her very first time out because she's big enough now and she can fit into her wheelchair and this is the first time she's been out. At first she was like a little bit scared and was really not sure what to do in, in her new wheels but she soon got the hang of it and she was just chasing me around everywhere. Now she's just chilling outside of the road check, so I think she had a little bit too much fun. But she's just enjoying the sunshine, enjoying some peace and quiet, and she's a very special little disabled puppy for me because when she arrived, she was really, really, really small and so weak, and I, I, I didn't think she was going to make it. And we pulled her through, so there was so much love and effort and just so much that went into her treatment and recovery and now to see how she is today she's crazy she's she's so happy though and even though she's disabled she can still have an awesome life and be really happy <laughs> be really happy <laughs> i know girl you're so good yeah she's a happy girl Go then. Gold hair, gold ring. Thanks 
Thanks as always for joining our adventures and for your continued support. You are much appreciated. See you next week for the start of our bathroom renovations, where we start knocking down the walls. We are taking down the walls in the bathroom. Attempt to make a sink unit. I have no clue how to do this. Let's hope it stays up. And slowly, slowly start to see some progress. Bye.